Although the Blue Ridge Parkway snakes across the south end of Allegheny County, and one of the oldest rivers in the world, the New River, meanders along the northern border, travel guides contain few references to Sparta, the county seat. Chances are things will change in 2008, not on the parkway nor on the New River, but here in this vacant lot. This is the site of a new museum, one I think you will agree is steeped in surprises. A lot of people don't know what art teapots are all about. They, a teapot is a kettle to them and they can't imagine a museum for teapots. You can take a teapot and make it anything. Used in the hands of many creative and innovative artists, it becomes a very powerful agent for um, expressing artistic ideas, political content, humor, satire, you name it. Those are the kind of things that drew us to the, the CAM collection. We took a group of elementary and high school students to see the show at the Mint Museum and they were enthralled. On the bus ride down, they were thinking, well, are we going to see these teapots? And we spent about two hours in the museum, which was all the time we had, and we had to pull them out of there. I mean, they just couldn't get over it. And that was just 250 teapots out of thousands. The people who came to the museum, I think largely, were blown away. It's the simple and most direct way I can describe it. There's very little uh, more expressive art form in three-dimensional work than the teapot. You don't just simply have artistic expressions as art. They've assembled a collection that has useful, functional teapots that are of the highest quality across the centuries and even modern and contemporary industrial design. It just offers an extraordinary possibility for enrichment of all different kinds on all different levels and at an enormous scale. Chloe and I have been thinking that we wanted to keep our collection intact, but it's too large a collection for any one museum to take. Just about that time, we had a, a surprise visit from uh, Jean McLaughlin and Cynthia Bringle and her husband from Penland. When we were having lunch with Sonny and Gloria, Sonny started talking about that he was looking for a place for his teapot collection. She said, how about North Carolina? I said, I've never been there. And she said, if you could meet my friend Phil Haynes, and if he likes what you're doing, it'll happen. I was on a plane coming back from California and in Pittsburgh, this wonderful potter named Cynthia Bringle from Penland School of Crafts came and sat with me. He said, it's great you're here. And he turned to the guy next to him and he said, would you change seats with her? And she said, after a little conversation, you know, we need to get the Teapot Museum for North Carolina. I said, Teapot Museum? What in the world for? What, what's that? I started telling him why I was in California. And I said to him, we visited Sonny and Gloria Cam, and they have a teapot collection, and they're looking for a place for it. Well, Philip's mind just immediately starts working about where could this teapot collection go because he's always trying to figure out culture and the arts and how to enhance a community and what's going on. So I probably was not home more than a day before I got an email from Philip wanting to know all I knew about Sonny and Gloria Cam and then he took it from there. And Philip calls me the next day, hi I'm Philip Haynes. Well I never expected to hear from him. He said I understand you have teapots. I said yeah, we do. He said I like the arts and I don't know whether I like teapots or not, but can you send me something? Mr. Haynes, yes, I'd be delighted to send you something. Today's Thursday, I'm sure early next week, I can get some together and send it to you. He said, Sonny boy, you're in California. I said, yeah, don't you have Federal Express out there? And I said, yeah, we do. How about tomorrow? <laughs> That's the Philip Haynes we know and love. I mean, within a day he called us and said, I like your idea, and not only I like your idea, I have found a place for you in North Carolina. You wanted in a place where it would create a major impact. Well, he said it sure would in a town of 1,200 people. I said, but listen to this. Grayson and Carroll counties in Virginia and Allegheny County in North Carolina have tremendous unemployment problems. We lost 2,000 jobs back there when we lost the Bristol compressors and the cut and sew industries. So we're just now trying to build back up. 
There have been a lot of jobs lost, factory jobs. They've certainly faced some hard times. Uh, with, and, and the businesses downtown, I think that's what's hurt the businesses a lot downtown. We've lost a lot of our manufacturing jobs, so a lot of our folks are now into the what I call the service business. We think that that's our, where our future lies. Hadn't been many years ago until Allegheny, Ash, and Watauga were known in North Carolina as the Lost Provinces, and we were very isolated. The notoriety of this quaint little town is about to change. The estimated 61,000 visitors a year to the Sparta Teapot Museum could dwarf the local population on any given Saturday. And that could add an estimated $7.5 million to the local economy. That's $228,000 in new local tax revenue and hundreds of new jobs. Listen, I'll tell you what, I'm going to wind my way back through Charlotte, North Carolina. You meet me in Charlotte, we'll drive up to this little town, we'll take a look. This is one of the first times we know about where community on its own has said, we think we have a way of bringing ourselves out of our economic doldrums by creating uh, tourism in this area. People don't think outside the box. They think economic development has to be a plant or some kind of traditional business. I guess that's one reason we got excited about this teapot museum, realizing what an impact that tourism has and uh, how it can affect, it affects us. Penland has had a big impact on the economy of this area because of all the craftspeople that have settled here. And I think that the same thing will happen up in Sparta with the museum. It's going to be the only one like it in the whole U.S. of A. And I think that's going to really put us on the map. I can't think of a better symbol for our county than the teapot. You know, they drink a lot of other things probably around here, but uh, I'm sure that tea is going to be uh, a more of a center of our hospitality now. It will become a destination for scholars, for people who simply are travelers and become intrigued by the notion of tea and teapots and what they might say. The people of Sparta are often referred to as the friendliest people on the parkway. So it's no wonder they've embraced an idea like this. Tea and the teapot have long been a symbol of hospitality all over the world. We've got a, a terrific opportunity here in this state and frankly for the region to have this enormous and extraordinary collection come and be a draw that will drive the economics of the northern part of the state in Sparta, but also add one more jewel to the crown of craft, which is extraordinarily broad in this state. North Carolina is lucky to have a place like Sparta, and Sparta is lucky to have friends like the Cams. I hope you'll join me in supporting the Sparta Teapot Museum. Your support will go a long way toward making it one of the many reasons we all like calling North Carolina home. There ain't nobody here but us. 